Hillsboro police investigating a murder after they say a man was gunned down in the parking lot of a strip mall. Our Jenny Young digging deeper and hearing from a store owner who knew the victim's family. Jenny. That's right, Jeff. Jenny, the police are saying that they're not going to release the name of that victim right now, but we did talk to a woman who says she's known his family for quite some time and she's heartbroken. I mean, we're all impacted by this, you know, and it's all, are we safe? Isabel Mendoza owns Su Casa Supermercado. It's in this strip mall at 11th and Walnut, where Hillsborough police say a man was shot to death shortly after midnight Monday. My neighbors, well, they're the owners here at the restaurant, and they're the ones that were the first ones to call the police. Right now, police aren't releasing many details. They tell us patrol officers responded to the parking lot within minutes after reports of gunshots. Those officers found the victim, a man they say looked to be about 40, dead on the pavement. We've dealt with it physically, mentally, emotionally. We're learning a lot of families live around here. I spoke with a mother off camera who tells me she called the police after hearing those gunshots. Today, she isn't letting her little boy play outside. I just think we need more police force, especially in this area. Our police station is just two blocks from that location. Hillsboro PD Commander Michael Ruscia says officers are paying a lot of attention to this area, but the department is hoping for a more integrated approach when it comes to tackling crime. We are working with 10th Street businesses and City Hall and community groups to see what changes we could make to that area that are more than just um, having a few more cops drive by. All right, so neighbors and Mendoza said that there were a lot of surveillance cameras pointing to that scene um, that show quite a bit, but police not confirming that. However, they say they are collecting surveillance footage. We will continue to follow this story and um, update you as we get new developments. Reporting line, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News.